Time to hit the jackpot on Candle Pins for Cash, Boston's big money and big prize game show where everyone's a winner. And now for all the fun and excitement, here's the man with all the dollars and all the prizes, the kingpin himself, your host, Bob Gamir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. Once again to Candlepins for Cash. We tried hard last night to break the jackpot, but we weren't able to do it. And so we start tonight's program with $880 in that jackpot. We're looking for somebody to bowl a strike. It's as simple as that. The bowler bowls a strike and splits what's ever in the jackpot at the time with the pin pal at home. If it's not a strike, if it's a spare, it's $30 for the bowler, $30 for the pin pal, plus a bonus ball for the jackpot. If they all go in the third roll, it's $20 for the bowler, $20 for the pin pal, and a bonus ball for $700. And one of our bowlers tonight will be the lucky super bowler. In addition to breaking the jackpot, that bowler will win a brand new car. And so will the pin pal. That's if the bowler bowls the strike. Let's add $20 to start us off. We build it to $900. Here is Bill Croto. Hello, Bill. Bill, what do you do? A collection manager. And what do you collect? Hey, insurance premiums. You collect insurance, but what, how do you go about doing that? We finance insurance premiums. I work for a company called Amgro, which is a division of the Hanover Insurance Company. Okay, and where do you live? Clinton. Did you have a nice ride in from Clinton today? Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't too bad. How long does it take you normally? Oh, about an hour. Do you come into Boston often? Or? No, not too often. What about to Worcester? You go down that way much? No, oh, that's where we work. Oh, the place is in Worcester? That's right, yeah. Well, how, how long does it take you to go to work every day? Oh, about 18 minutes. It's not bad at all. No, it's not bad. Super. Who'd you bring with you? Uh, I brought with me today my niece, Denise, her boyfriend, Richie, my daughter, Janelle, Jody, my son, Darren, and my other daughter, Kendra. Welcome to the program. Nice to have everybody here. They all want to see you break the jackpot. What hobbies do you have? Oh, do a little golf. Bruins hockey fan. Do you have uh, season tickets to the Bruins? Yeah, moment? season tickets. Do you, how many time. of the games do you go to? Oh, now probably about two-thirds of the games. It gets too expensive now. I guess so. Right. How long have you had the tickets? 1969, in the Bobby Orr era. Right, super player. How are they going to do this year? Montreal's tough. Too Montreal's tough. Montreal's awful tough. <laughs> All right, Bill, reach in, come out with your pin pal card. We'll look and find the position of your lucky prize pin. Bill, your lucky pin is the six pin. Your pin pal is from Plymouth. It says, try me, good luck, and thank you. Polly Alpo from Plymouth for the jackpot. Bill Croto for $900. Polly Alpo is the pin pal. He pins the six. And Bill gives it a ride, whacks it right in there, and gets at least eight, and that's it, eight. Almost came back. Now if we get a spare, we'll have another try at the jackpot. Good roll. Oh, now the lucky pin is left. Will he get it? If he does, we'll have a $700 bonus. Nine dollars for Bill, and nine for his pin pal. Thanks for coming, Bill. Good going. You bet. So Bill gets nine. That's a good start. It's better than average. Nine for Bill, nine for his pin pal. But since it didn't break the jackpot, we add another $20 to it. $920. Let's meet Milt, our jackpot. We add another $20 to it. It's 2260. Here is John Gormley. Hi, John. Hi, Bob. John, what do you do? I'm a manager of planning for Honeywell, Bob. And what do you plan for them? Well, we plan uh, in our various industry markets how we can uh, sell better to them. You have a lot of markets now, different products. What did Honeywell start with? They started with uh, thermostats. That was the original? That was the original, a lot of years ago. Now they're big conglomerate, right? Well, primarily computers now, as far as uh, our jobs here in Massachusetts are concerned. Competition for IBM? We hope so. <laughs> okay, who'd you bring with you, John? I brought my girls, uh, Maureen and Laurie, and my nephews, Ricky and Sean, and my brother-in-law, Rickard. Okay, nice to have you all with us. What do you like to do when you're not with Honeywell? Well, we're uh, tennis mostly, and bowling occasionally. Keep in good shape. Try to. All right, reach into the barrel, come out with your pin pal card. John, we'll look and find the position of your lucky prize pin. John, your lucky pin is the number nine pin. Your pin pal is May Murphy. Said, get a bonus ball from Arlington for the jackpot. John from Salem for $2,260. May Murphy is the pin pal. John got the lucky pin. Two down and eight to go. If 
for a spare. Five down, five to go. Does he have him? Right there, make it eight. Eight dollars for John and eight dollars for his good pal. John, you got the lucky pin. Throw number six in there. You're eligible for the lucky pin prize. Thank, thank you very you. much for coming. Hey, All right, if you want to be a pin pal, just go to your nearest first national store, pick up an official entry blank, or else on a regular postcard, all we need is your name, address, and phone number. It's as simple as that. Send it off to Pin Pals, Candle Pins for Cash, Post Office Box 8000. Post Office Box 8000, Boston. Let's add 20 more dollars to the jackpot, build it higher. $2,280. Let's beat Mickey to Christopher. <laughs> Hello, Mickey. Look at this outfit. Wow. Are you ready to travel? Yes, I am. Do you like to travel? Love it. Right. Well, you have a nice tan. Have you just come back from somewhere? No, I haven't. No. Uh, we went to Hawaii a couple of years ago. It's probably lasted till then. <laughs> <laughs> well, I doubt that. You, were, <laughs> you got some sun this summer then, huh? Yeah. Where did you go? Yeah, I'm outside a lot. I'm an outside salesman for the company. You didn't put yeah. makeup on today? No, you? no. It's my original. It's my mustache. <laughs> what company do you work for, Vicky? I own World Adventure Tours in Whitman. Well, no wonder you dress like that. You right. want everybody to go traveling. Sure, right? sure. What's the greatest World Adventure Tour right yeah. now? Uh, Hawaii. Hawaii or Vegas, Las Vegas. Have you been out there to Vegas? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been to uh, Hawaii five times, though. People absolutely love Hawaii, the people yep. that have been on this show. Excellent, excellent trip. Who'd you bring with you? Uh, I brought my father-in-law, Will, my mother-in-law, Louise, my two kids, uh, Susan and Gina, and my wife, Joyce. Okay, nice to have you all with us. Reach into the barrel, come out with your pin pal card. Mickey, we're looking to find the position of your lucky prize pin. Your lucky pin is the sixth pin, your pin pal, S and R Burkle from Linfield. Good luck to Mickey to Christopher as we go for our jackpot. Or the jack. He's there! And still only half of them went. Five down and five to go. For a spare. And he's got it! How about that? We'll have the bonus ball for the jackpot. Mickey has 30. SR Burkle has 30. And now we'll have the bonus ball for the jackpot or $2 a pin. And he's there, he's got it, he's got the jackpot! Mickey has broken the jackpot on the bonus ball for $2,280. Mickey, you've got it, and s &R Burkle has it as well for $2,280. It was the jackpot, and here's the replay. And he's there, he's got it, he's got the jackpot! Mickey has... All right, so you don't get a shot for the super jackpot because it came on the bonus. The super jackpot only goes if you bowl two strikes right off. So $2,280, you get $1,140. So does your pin pal. Good day's work. Thanks for coming. Put number seven in and you're eligible for the lucky pin prize. Six out of our seven bowlers are eligible for the lucky pin prize. And tonight, the lucky pin prize is the Emerson Portable Cassette Recorder. What a way to finish up on the bonus ball. $20 worth of Chinese food from any one of Dave Wong's China sales restaurants, also to the winner. Let's find out who is the winner. It is the number one bowler, Sharon Matella. Sharon, you got that, and that, and Mickey has the jackpot. S&R Burkle of Linfield also. This is Bob Gamere, so long from Candle Pins, 4K.